Hey guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the SEPTA Silverliner 4. And this is EMU from SEPTA, which is from Pennsylvania. And this was an anonymous commission, so the person who commissioned it, they didn't want a shout out. But that's okay, thanks anyways. Uh, if you want to do a commission, you can just check out my Selfie page. Link in the description. And uh, yeah, let's get started on this build. So first off, let's take some clay. Added two blocks above the tracks and make it five blocks wide and then we're gonna take it and <laughs> make it 39 blocks long so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 2 2 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 yeah, it should be 39 and going back all the way. So the floor is also made of clay too. So that's why we're making it so wide. I'm pretty glad that someone commissioned the septic train because I believe that's like one of the major train or not trains, the railways in North America. Right, so after we're done with that, we're going to take um, gray concrete, just add that in the middle one, like so, and then that, let's add stone buns alongside it, do the same thing in the back, and these are for the lights basically, and let's work on the bottom part, so we're going to take a hopper, skip three from uh, the edge, should add two hoppers for each wheel, It'd be a little confusing. Then skip block two hoppers again. Do that for each side, and in between we're gonna add stone brick slab in between that. And same thing on the other side. So skip three from the edge, and let's start making these hopper wheels. Then let's fill it in the middle with stone brick slab, and then on the sides we're gonna use stone slab. Just add three like that and above in the middle we're going to use upside down stone brick stairs so it's sort of like a ladder do the same thing on this side and also back in the front and the front and the back it should pretty much look the same although the only difference is like they have a pantograph on one side Alright, so once we're done with that, we're going to add the bottom part, so we're going to use a uh, stone slab, we're going to skip a block here, then three stone slabs, and for the other side, I did the same exact thing. And then let's go to the other side and use uh, stone brick slabs, just like skip a block from that part, going all the way back, and in the background you can see another train tutorial that I'll be doing soon. And that is for uh, NS, which is Norfolk Southern. All right, so after we're, do we're done with that, we're going to take lapis lazuli. Should add that alongside this gray concrete. I'm going to add, I don't have it, but we're going to use uh, red wool. Since this is SEPTA 4, they have red instead of orange. So if you want, you can change the color to whatever when you prefer. So after we're done with that, let's take uh, black stained glass, just add that in the corners. And also we have to do that in the back as well. Should be the same exact thing. Like so. And then we're gonna add an iron door. And in front of the iron door, we wanna add a dark oak fence gate, which is closed. And this is for like the railing, I believe, like some kind of um, <laughs> safety feature. So after we don't, we're done with that, we're going to take, let's get our clay back. Just fill that in around the door, basically. And in the middle, let's fill that in as well. And then we're going to leave these two blocks for 
uh, some more gray concrete like so and let's do the same thing on the other side so we're just doing it piece by piece the gray concrete and then let's add a sign and just put that on one side uh, on one of the gray concretes and let's take a redstone torch just add that above the front window like so and also let's add a light gray carpet three in the middle like that and then let's do the same thing on the other side so first we get a sign up in there redstone torch gray carpet and then let's add a open birch fence gate in the middle of the top for the lighting we're gonna have that open up so it's kinda like uh, double lamps same thing on the other side and then we're gonna add a uh, light gray wool on this layer and we're gonna continue it throughout so just start from here going all the way to the other side and then this side as well and then we're going to add an iron door right here above this ladder like that and the other side then let's add another layer of light gray wool going all the way back side all right so once we're done with that we're gonna add lapis lazuli on this side and then behind it we want to have quartz block and that's basically the septa logo and for the other side instead of lapis we're gonna use red wool like so and then we're gonna add um, five two block wide windows and uh, we're just going to use black stained glass, just have five windows, just leave a gap for the pillar between it. Damn it. Restart. So then, so then we're going to take lapis lazuli, just add that right there. And behind it, quartz block for the septa logo. And then on the other side, we're going to use uh, red wool instead of uh, lapis, then quartz. And basically, we're just going to add uh, five windows, and then we're going to have like this door in the middle. So we're going to use black stained glass. So one, two, three, four, five. And then let's fill in in between. So it's going to be like red, blue, red, blue red and then uh, delete this block here and then put blue on the other side so for this side let's add the windows first so five windows and then we're just going to alternate between blue and red so blue red blue red blue red and delete the block in the middle and let's put an iron door right there so you can actually go inside of it and then we're going to use uh, black uh, stained glass again and make five more windows on each side. So just continue that until we reach the other side and just do the same thing. Like so. And then we're going to have lapis, just like every other one, then red between it. Alright, and then this front part, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to use uh, quartz block for the septa logo. And then we're going to have whatever co color just comes next, even though it doesn't match the other side. Like how this side is like red and red. It doesn't matter. Alright, so after we're done with that, we're going to take... Oh, we need to fill in the roof. So we're going to take clay. Fill that in. Tie roof. 
going all the way back. You know what? I'm just gonna do the outside first. Kind of like a snake, just coiling around. Then we're gonna do the middle last. Alright, so that's the roof, and let's add the coupling. So we're gonna add this uh, stone brick stairs right there, and we also need stone brick slab. So stone brick stairs, just add that in the middle, like so, and then the middle one we're gonna replace that with the stone brick slab, and then have like this coupling. So it should look like that. Same thing on the other end. Stone brick, and yeah, that's coupling. All right, so once we're done with that, we're gonna add the thing in the middle, and that's basically uh, you see these two windows right here. After it, there's gonna be a pillar, and just line that up and put the stone brick stairs like that. And same thing on the other side, so just skip two windows right here, and then we're gonna add bedrock in the middle so just fill that in then alongside it we're gonna use a stone slab and it is raining outside here yeah it's definitely raining outside it sounds really wet alright so we're just filling in the sides of this. I don't know what this is. Could be like some kind of air filtering unit. Maybe air conditioner. I don't know. So after we're done with that, the, we're going to add light gray carpet and put that in between the bedrock. So it sort of has like these holes like that. And we're going to have like four of these bedrocks that pop up on each end. Yeah, just make sure it's four, and then the middle, we're just going to fill that in completely with the light gray carpet, like so. And then on the one end of it, there's going to be like this pantograph. So we're going to add levers, so it makes, like, it makes it look like it's doing something. And we're going to start off right after this one. And lever, skip a block lever, and we're going to have like four pairs of these levers. And in the middle, we're going to use uh, nether brick slab and nether brick stairs. So first off, between this pair of levers, we're going to put nether brick slab and then stairs like that. And then double nether brick slab, kind of going diagonally. And above that, we want a single slab. Then it just sort of goes up into the top of the pantograph. And then we're going to add this upside down nether brick stairs kind of looks like a coat hanger like an upside down coat hanger alright so that's the pantograph and once we're done with that I don't know are we done with this yeah I think we're done with this so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want to do a commission you can just check out my self five page link in the description I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, we now we have a SEPTA train on the channel, which I'm really happy for. Uh, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button below, and subscribe if you haven't already, because I will be uploading more videos in the future, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.